Yesterday we made it to Sweden. Um, it's very nice. <laughs> yeah, so far it's very nice. We haven't seen too much. We got here pretty early, but then we got into our Airbnb and slept for like five hours. <laughs> so we didn't see much of the town yesterday. Yeah. For like a week now, Marshall's been trying to find a spot to get breakfast. And we've just been getting out so late that by the time we get to the cafe, they're done serving breakfast. But hopefully we'll find some breakfast food today. <laughs> I think that was also the first time in this trip where we haven't spent like three or four hours in the cafe that we start at. So we're getting better at this. Yeah. Now we're heading to the Malmo Art Gallery. I think it said it's, do you remember what it said? It was like the largest, I don't know. No, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. I think Hobby Lobbies may have different uses here in Sweden. We're quickly learning that we should probably start looking at places before we go there. We walked to the art gallery and found out that they are changing exhibits, so it was totally empty. So <laughs> we are now walking to the city's old town. We don't really know what is there either, so I guess we haven't learned our lesson too much because we're just walking. <laughs> but it's supposed to be very cute with a lot of colorful streets and buildings. made it to the old town and all of the buildings are very beautiful but it seems like it's pretty much just a square where there's a bunch of very expensive restaurants very expensive food so we probably won't be staying here very long but the buildings are very pretty so we'll walk around and see it yeah so even though the place that we're in right now is super expensive and the meals are like $25 a person uh, without drinks or anything we have been able to find some like pretty reasonably priced places. There seems to be a pretty wide variety. Like today for breakfast, we got everything for like eleven dollars, and yesterday we got lunch for like that same price. Like total, yeah, it's possible. It's possible. Not easy to find necessarily, but possible. Yeah. Walking around and looking at all of those expensive restaurants definitely made us realize how hungry we are. <laughs> so we are walking to one of the popular lunch halls in Malmo and hopefully it's cheaper there, but my hopes for that are not high. No, not at all. Oh. I'm so happy we found something cheaper. Thank you. You ready to I eat? <laughs> I looked up how to say ten in Swedish and immediately reset it. I'm so surprised at how cheap this place was. It still wasn't like the cheapest place we've ever seen, but this was twelve dollars. And yours was less cheap. But it looks good. Not twenty-five dollars a meal, so that's a win, I think. <laughs> that was so much more food than it looked like. I'm happy with our choices. <laughs> now to go see a castle. Hey, a Malmohus castle. Yes. It says it closes at 5 and it's 4.30. I don't know what it means for a castle to close, so... What are they gonna do? Tear it down? <laughs> what are they gonna do? Put a drape over it and make us not see it? This is what I live with every day. <laughs> what are they gonna do? Turn it off? What are they gonna do? Make it invisible? 
<laughs> what are they gonna do? Put a cloak of invisibility on it? Oh god. You're not gonna keep going? I don't have any more. They were all pretty bad anyway. Yeah, they were. Turns out, the castle did not close at five today. We got here perfect timing for the Malmo Garden Show to start. It's taking place just right around the castle mill. There are a bunch of vendors set up that are just selling a bunch of garden, I don't know, gardens. Selling a bunch of like seeds and pots and- Kombucha, which is the main thing that I cared about. <laughs> We found a kombucha stand and miraculously the lady took US dollars. So we got super lucky because they don't take credit cards and we have no Swedish cash. So, <laughs> and there are so many dogs here. I am so happy. I just get to look around at all the cute little pups all day. I don't know how long this lasts, but we'll probably be here for a little while. Oh. So many more things on our list today to do. We might I'm not getting make them. tired. <laughs> <laughs> we always start out the day with plans to do like ten things and end up doing like three. Three has been pretty common number yeah. of things to do. To be fair, we walked through most of the places we were gonna see today. Yeah. Finding the garden show was such a nice surprise. I thought for sure we were gonna get there and it was gonna be either closed or too expensive and we found that lovely little festival and it was totally free, except for the kombucha we bought. <laughs> now our next destination is the Turning Torso building and we are getting pretty exhausted so we're gonna look for a nice little restaurant along the way and if we don't make it to the building then oh well. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine, we'll both be fine. <coughs> we can see it from here. How much more impressive can it be up close? We also just happened to walk by the fish market, which was also on our list, but it was closed. But it looks like it'd be cute if it were open. And it probably smells a little bit better right now than it would during the day when it was open. That is where we're going. It looks kind of far away from here. I don't know if we'll make it that far. We made it. So we made it to the Bindi building. <laughs> the turning torso. <laughs> I think the technical name is the Bindi building. Okay. And it is cool up close. Sabrina likes to hate on things. <laughs> I said it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put a, a clip in of her saying it might not be worth it. Did I say that? Yes. <laughs> we can see it from here. How much more impressive can it be up close? This well, is cool though. Just a big grass circle? It's literally just a circle of grass. It's a full circle of grass. I feel like if you could have a nice picnic. It's like right in the middle of a bunch of living quarters. So, yeah. This would be a cool place to hang out if we lived here. It kind of it kind of looks like a cornucopia from Hunger Games. Does it? I don't know. It looks like... Like a coliseum kind of thing. Big fights. I love how this is just the only skyscraper in this city. It kind of makes it look even cooler. Whoa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, jeez.
found a pretty good viewing spot. God, this thing is so tall. <laughs> Once again, time for food. So we have about a 35 minute walk to the other side of town to get some burritos. And I think that'll about be the end of our day. Yeah, burritos, good end to the day. Very good end to the day. These last two weeks have consisted of a ton of walking and the final walk of the night to find food is always the hardest. <laughs> By far. Easily. Fast and tasty food. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Do it the correct way. How does the correct way? How no. My ankle? Do it the correct way. Do it the That's correct way. Mm-hmm. <laughs>